Holstinger couldn't have made it any easier to start using Docker on a VPS. The idea of this is that they now launch a Docker manager where you can easily install your GitHub repositories. Plus, you'll have full control to add more and more, not just one application. So it's a big step from installing a one application to installing Docker and being able to install multiple applications. So let me go ahead and show you how this is going to work. Now, right now I'm in my Hostinger dashboard and I'm going to jump into my BPS and there's several BPS managers and applications that you can install on Hostinger. In this case, what you want to do is install Docker. So in this case, this is the BPS that has Docker inside of it. Be aware that if you didn't install Docker from the beginning, don't worry. Just go back into OS and panel operating system and change it into Docker. So just go ahead and search for Docker right here select it and make a reinstallation. Be aware that if you do this, you will be cleaning the BPS. So if you have applications previously, don't do this. Okay. First backup. Now, before I show you how to use the Docker manager, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is actually Hostinger. They have really affordable plans that you can start using right now. They are currently already in the black Friday phase. So you can grab the lowest price in the year right now. So if you go to services, go to PPS hosting, you'll be able to find their BPS plans where you can install Docker. Now they have KBM one to KBM eight, which is going to be the CPU cores that you can have on your BPS. Plus the RAM and the storage is going to be changing in every single one of these plans. I would recommend that you jump into KBM two and later jump into a bigger plan once your project kicks off. Okay. So let's go ahead and choose this plan because I'm going to show you how to grab it for a lower price. So the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend the 24 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. Plus you'll be good to go for two years. Now this is the current pricing, but if you click on have a coupon code and add my coupon code by pasting it in or typing it in, the price is going to drop to $140 with 18 cents. That's for two years paid off for a VPS where you can install several applications. Now to install Docker from the beginning and not later on, go ahead and do so through selecting the operating system right here where you are going to pay for it. So just go ahead and select applications, Docker, and continue the process and confirm that you want to use Docker. Okay. Now, once you have that ready to go, you'll be able to view what you're viewing right here. Exactly. And you'll have a tab that says Docker manager. Now, the beauty about this is that we're able to install several applications right here from a GitHub Now we have the option to do this compose manually or we can do this through a URL, which would be the easiest way. That's why I mentioned this is going to be the easiest way to do it with the hosting your Docker. So what you're going to need is the actual URL from a GitHub. So if you jump over to GitHub, you're going to find, for example, open sources. Let's go to the trending topics. And I know that it's super trending. One is uptime Kuma, which is not just trending. It's actually super good. So ju jump into the uptime Kuma, go ahead and click on code, grab this link right here. Let's go jump into our Docker. Let's go ahead and add it and remove the Git. We're going to just keep the, the name without the Git. So let's go ahead and deploy this. And by doing this, I'm going to now launch Uptime Kuma in this BPS. Now, aside from that, I'm able to install more GitHub repositories right here. So for example, I am using Libra chat. I'm going to go ahead and select this. I can go ahead and open up Libra chat and I'll be able to just go ahead and log in and use Libra chat from here. So let me go ahead and log in right now. And this is on my BPS. So now I have Libre chat here where I can use multiple AIs, which is an open source system that I can start using right here just by adding the API keys. But just like that, I'm able to also take full advantage of uptime Kuma, use other op options here. For example, uptime Kuma is now ready right now on this video. Let's go ahead and launch it. And we're going to go through the initial setup process. So just go ahead and continue go with the process and you'll have uptime Kuma ready to go right here. So that was pretty cool, right? So just go through the process and you'll have uptime Kuma ready to go right here. Now, once you do that, we can go into manage and fully go into this so you can highly customize it if needed. Okay. So we got the visual editor. We got the jam editor, jam editor. We got the logs in visual editor. We have options to edit the option here. So if I need to change the container name, the image, the restart policy. So you got all these available options that makes things super easy. And if you need to add a new container, just go ahead and do so right here. So as I mentioned before, this is the easiest way to take full advantage of your VPS using the Docker inside of Hostinger. Plus, aside from this, you got the overview to view the analytics of your VPS, how it's performing. You got your general settings, your OS and panel backups and monitoring, your set security settings, 
you got terminal available right here without having to use something else externally so it's highly customizable and super easy to use so definitely take advantage of the docker manager from hostinger so if you plan to grab a vps plan do grab it right now that you're going to grab it the most affordable time ever plus use my coupon code to get the lowest price that you're going to get from hostinger so sign up right now check out the link in the description and grab your vps and install docker and that is a wrap